Welcome to AHA Science News. I'm Bob Bono here at the 2014 Scientific Sessions in Chicago. Delighted to be with Dr. Robert Mitchler, who is Chairman of Surgery at the Montefiore Medical Center, uh, Albert Einstein Medical College in uh, New York. Rob? It's good to see you. Good to be here, Bob. Thank uh, you. Dr. Mitchler just presented a, a very important clinical trial from the Cardiothoracic Surgery Network um, at the um, National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute on mitral valve surgery and patients undergoing coronary bypass surgery. Rob, give us a quick snapshot of the uh, design and the results. Well, the design was to look at patients who were already going to have bypass surgery, but in addition had chronic moderate ischemic mitral regurgitation. We divided this into two groups, those who received bypass surgery alone and those who received bypass with the addition of an undersized annuloplasty ring. This is a pretty common finding, isn't it, in patients undergoing cabbage? It's a very common finding, and it's been a source of uh, conundrum for surgeons and cardiologists for many years. Whether to repair the valve at the time of the coronary bypass surgery or just leave it alone. Exactly right. And one of the things that produced this conundrum is that we've had varying uh, uh, interpretations of what moderate ischemic mitral regurgitation uh, is. And in this trial, we were very uh, methodical and rigorous in the definition of that uh, degree of mitral regurgitation. And uh, it often is a concern as to which patients should have combined surgery or which patients could just be candidates for revascularization alone. So what, what were the results like? Well, we used as a primary endpoint a left ventricular end systolic volume index or an index of reverse remodeling. And we found that at one year, the addition of mitral valve repair did not lead to a higher degree of reverse remodeling in the patients uh, between the two groups. That was a fundamental primary endpoint analysis. The second feature was that there was 30% regurgitation rate, a prevalence of moderate or severe regurgitation in the cabbage alone group, where it was only 11% in the repair group. And lastly, there was a safety signal. More neurologic events with repair, longer operations, longer hospital stay. Well, you know, one would anticipate that the patients who had coronary surgery only would have more uh, residual mitral regurgitation than the patients who had the repair didn't appear to translate into a change in the uh, volumes of the, of the heart, uh, the amount of remodeling, or, or in the clinical outcome to do. Uh, exactly diagnose. right. There were no clinical outcomes respective of uh, MACE or mortality, rehospitalization, or NYHA class. Uh, so we did also find that cabbage alone really led to 70% uh, uh, of the patients having no a trace or mild mitral regurgitation at one year, which was a pretty impressive finding. Of course, the trial was not really designed as a true outcomes trial, um, but you, you saw no clinical signal uh, one way or the other in terms of uh, mortality or, or MACE, but this is only one year of data. Are you going to continue following patients? Yes, we must continue to follow these patients, and we'll follow these patients to five years, and we anticipate presenting within the year the two-year outcome data. One of my take-home messages is that it is indeed possible to do multi-center randomized trials in cardiac surgery, something that I think has been missing for a number of years, and I hope the uh, network uh, is a good model for future development of trials like this. Well, I think that's beautifully said, Bob, because we've not had a track record of being able to do this, and I think uh, this is a very impressive accomplishment for the network. It's also a great source of pride among surgeons in the network to be able to do this kind of clinical study. Well, thank you very much, Rob. And your paper, of course, was published concurrently in the New England Journal of Medicine today. So congratulations thank for you. a nicely delivered uh, clinical trial. Thank you. And this is uh, Bob Bono coming up to you from the uh, AHA Science News. Thank you very much for joining us. You're a good